morning! Today we're hopping along to celebrate Ardith reaching 3,000 YouTube subscribers. Yay, Ardith! Congratulations! After you finish watching my video, please leave a comment for your chance to win. There are lots of fine prizes up for grabs. And then click on the link in the video description below for the next person in the hop. There are about 20 participants in this video and there are prizes to be won on every stop. The more comments you leave along the hop, the better your chances are winning. Uh, please do tell us if you are in the US or international, as some prices are restricted to US uh, addresses only. And all the details will be on both my blog and Ardith's blog. If you get lost along the way, please do go to Ardith's blog for the full list of participants. All prices will be announced on Saturday, October 19th, so comment before then. I am hopping right in along here with um, some time-lapse colouring of the Ellen Hudson Mondo Peony. This is one of my favourite flowers to colour. I really, really love it. And as you can see, I've marked all the Copics that I've used at the top of my uh, piece of paper. It's only the actual petals though, not the yellows, but any yellows will do. And thanks to the brilliant idea of having coordinating die cuts, uh, it's an easy piece of breeze getting that cut out and set aside. Then for my background, what I've done, uh, I had this little idea. So I'm, I was actually playing along just to kind of see what was happening here. And I've used my antistatic tool on the panel. And then I've used the leaves from the Mondo Peony stamp set. And with uh, ink on three, embossing ink, I have stamped these two up on one side. Then I simply flipped my panel over and stamped them again. Then we are using, I'll say we, but you know, me, of course. Wow embossing, um, heat embossing powder in white, opaque white. And then we're gonna set this with the heat gun. And then we're gonna do some fun ink blending on top of this. I thought that these leaves were going to be enough, but then when I looked with my flower, I decided that I actually probably needed another couple because I should have rearranged the stamps so that they stuck up a little bit more around the flower. So I solved that problem by heat embossing two more of the leaves. Then we are going to do some very random ink blending with some green Distress Oxide inks, and I'm using my Picket Fan Studios Life Changing Blender Brushes, of course. So we're doing a little bit of a rub a dub a dub, we'll tap tap tap, and then swish swish swish. And this is super super random because I wanted just lots of sort of greens, but not in any kind of pattern really. So I'm using Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, and also Mowed Lawn. And I'm using a brush for each color just to kind of, you know, make sure that I can go back, get more color without, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Contaminate. That's it. Contaminate my inks. And this little piece of paper here, or I say paper, is actually acetate. Uh, that's kind of like um, a bit of a um, finger saver and paper saver. So it's just a clear piece of acetate with a little bit of post-it tape on the side. So I can actually see where it is because, you know, acetate is sometimes kind of difficult to see. You think you know where it is and you're looking all over your table. You can't see it and it's right in front of you. It's happened to me so many times. So anyway, I'm using this to stop my fingers from touching the ink because, you know, if you do, you'll get fingerprints and that's not a good look. So I'm using that to both save my fingers from getting inky and also to save my ink blending. And as you can see, it also, it's all very, very random. It's just, I'm filling in the gaps and I'm sorry there's no white ordered. I know you like your whites. So please take your blood pressure medicine. <laughs> Right, so as you can see, I am just going along extremely randomly, picking up colors and filling in the gaps. I could have probably skipped a little bit of this video part, couldn't I? Oh well, you live and learn, one would hope anyway. So. Right, at here, you can see I am coming up towards the end, so I'm just gonna fill in the last little bits. And I know 
did this little acetate piece, you sort of think, oh, okay, sure. But why not just use plastic gloves? But I don't like putting gloves on my hands. That's just one of those things that I don't like doing. Plus, to me, this kind of feels like a bit of a crafty hack, you know, lifesaver sort of thing. Yeah, I know. I might need to expand my uh, horizons a little bit if I think that's so exciting. Ah, okay, well, so here I'm just doing the extra two leaves. And again, no sort of rhyme or reason, I guess, just making sure that they're all covered with color. And then I'm gonna cut these out with the coordinating die cut because these are actually gonna go like above uh, and around my flower. And here is the panel and the leaves next to each other. So you can see very nice and green. Uh, but one thing though is with the white embossing, you know, they do get like dirty. So here I am with a old kitchen towel. I'm just wiping the embossing, the embossed lines to make sure they get white again. It just, it really does make such a difference. This is also one of those things where before I realized I could do this, I was like, Ugh, really? I don't like that, but it's such an easy fix. Okay, so I um, decided that the leaves were actually a little bit too big. So I'm cutting these apart. And instead of like adding them as two pieces, there's gonna be six smaller pieces. And with my, um, my background as a guide, I put my flower down and then puzzled in the leaves where it just needed a little bit of a, a filler. So these are gonna go in, not super randomly, but just, you know, just to kind of make it look like a really plush, plush, lush flower. And so there we have it. That I think is gonna be it. And I managed to finally get a hold of some um, press and seal. So this is the first time I'm using this. And uh, I do like a good crafting uh, saver. So uh, there we are. One of my favorite little tricks to add a really, really nice dimension to a card is to use the coordinating die cut on foam sheets. It just takes your whole design to like a new level. I am such a fan of this technique. I love this. And I do this all the time. And there you go. It's just an easy peasy breezy cut, cut and glue it down because this stuff is um, self adhesive on both sides as well. So it just makes it such a breeze. And uh, to finish off the card, we are going to stamp up a sentiment uh, with, with gold embossing on black cardstock. And I probably should have done this white because Audrey does like her white spaces, but I'm sorry, I think black looked better. And this stamp set is from My Favorite Things. It is a Birdie Brown greetings galore and it has sentiments for pretty much everything. So this one I reach for all the time. I really do. And the embossing powder is Wow's Metallic Gold Rich Regular. And this is another one of those things where I use all the time. I It just, it melts in such a beautiful color and yeah. It is a winner for sure. And look at that heat embossing. Oh, I love this part. Happy birthday. And then I cut that out on a banner, another um, My Favorite Things goodies. Uh, with the background idea to a card base, it was just a simple case of taking that adhesive, um, the protective sheet thingy off the back of the flower, glue down the sentiment, and uh, I thought at this point the card was ready, but <laughs> if you know me, uh, I am a bit of a sequin-holic. So I thought I I'll put a few on just to kind of, you know, put it on a little bit of bling. And then it all kind of went downhill. One led to two to three to, I don't know, I haven't even counted how many this is. I, I am in, in a little bit of denial, but... I do like a bling, so what you gonna do, you know? So sticking these down with the lawn phone and glue tube, which is so handy. I This is such a great little um, adhesive. I really, really like this one. 
But with that, at this point, the card was finished. That's it. All done. No more. And with one final little look at the card and all the stuff that I've used, I have linked everything below in the descriptions as well as the next person in the hop. And of course, a huge thank you to all the sponsors. Don't forget to leave comments for your chances to win because there are some fabulous, fabulous prizes up for grabs. So thanks again for stopping by today and I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Bye!